right now, I think I'm best known for that guy that's been in Keen and GC's YouTube videos or like friends with them, but I'm trying to base myself as just a YouTuber by myself. Thanks, Dreamer London. We like to bring everybody closer to their faves, so I will kick things off with a few fan questions. Uh, first up, Olivia wants to know, what's your favourite part about LA and Australia? Um, my favourite part about LA is just there's a lot of people, there's just, I'm surrounded by a lot of people that do YouTube, a lot of people that do like the same thing I'm doing and it's a lot of, it's like I meet a lot of people from around the world because they come to LA so that's what I love about LA. In Australia I just love being home by the beach, seeing my old friends, family, the food in Australia, I really miss a lot of that, like the meat pies and all that, I love, I miss all that so that's it. You used to live in Adelaide, right? I reckon it often gets a bad rap for being a boring city, but I've been. I, I like it. What do you like more <laughs> about Adelaide? What do you miss about it? Uh, mostly my friends, what I miss about it, but uh, I miss, like, Australian football. I miss playing that. Uh, I, I'm actually moving back to Adelaide for three months in a couple of weeks to see my family and stuff, so I'm excited. <laughs> Really excited about that. Next up, Isabel wants to know uh, your favorite memory on Keen and JC's tour. Oh, my favorite memory on that tour would have to be is we were on our way to Kansas City and I was on the back of the bus and I was just playing music and I was just screaming out loud to myself, like singing along. And then Keen joined in with me and then all of a sudden Vitaly joined in and Harrison joined in and JC joined in and Dom and we were just having like a throwback screaming in the back of the bus to old school music and it was just like one of the best memories I have on tour. Matty wants to know, uh, who's more annoying, Kean, JC or Harrison? Uh, 100% Kean is the most annoying of those three. <laughs> That's because I'm around him the most and he just loves to mess around the most. Yeah. Well, I remember you saying in one of your Q&A videos that you were annoying as a kid. Is it possible that in that equation you're the annoying one or definitely Kian? Uh, it's definitely Kian, but <laughs> and I do it back to him, so we're like equal. Imagine. So it's just like an annoying, 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 but yeah, it's just a lot of fun to do. But he locks me out of cars, he locks me out of the house, he does everything like that. So he's more, he takes it too far and I'm just like there to annoy him back. It'll get annoying after a while, am I right? Yeah, it gets annoying <laughs> first month. And uh, one last fan question from Chantel. If you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? If I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd probably be in school studying for like a business degree to take, yeah, something like that. Or honestly, I wouldn't, I don't really have a clue what I would be doing. I'm really focused on this right now. Maybe like trying to do acting or something like that. Okay. Yeah, but I really haven't thought about it. Yeah, fair enough. So do you reckon YouTube is what you're known for now? Like for instance, like, Let's just say I'm chatting to one of my friends before this interview and I'm like, oh, I'm interviewing Corey Labari at work today. And they're like, who's that? And I'm like, oh, you know, he's that guy that fill in the blank. What do you reckon you're best known for? Um, he's that guy, well, right now, I think I'm best known for that guy that's been in Keen and GC's YouTube videos or like yeah. friends with them, but I'm doing my own thing now. I'm just a YouTuber in general or the Australian friend of Keen's. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to base myself as just a YouTuber as by myself more than somebody else's, you know, but yeah, just a YouTuber. Fair enough. Was that uh, something that you ever pictured yourself doing if people asked you what you wanted to do when you grow up? Um, I always pictured myself trying to do acting. I never really pictured myself as a YouTuber, but I've been friends with Kian for a good five, six years now. Yeah. And I've always, always been behind the camera filming for him or like filling in. So I've always been like, oh, I want to do it in front of the camera and then thought, why not give it a shot? Yeah, fair enough. Well, how did you guys become friends out of curiosity? Um, we actually had a scuba class when I moved here from Australia my uh, sophomore year. We had a scuba class together and uh, we ended up being friends in it and mucking around. And then he had a channel with Sam and Sam lived two houses down from me. So he was always over there. So I was always with them three. So then we became like best friends. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, wow. That is a random story. <laughs> um, <laughs> so before this interview, I did have a bit of a stalk of your social media for, for research purposes, of course. <laughs> And I noticed that you've got the most number of followers on Instagram. Uh, why do you reckon that is? You're just super aesthetically pleasing, are you? Uh, no, no, not at all. I have honestly no, no idea why Instagram has the most. I feel like everybody has a lot more followers on their Instagram than anything else. If you look at any other YouTubers, mostly Instagram is their big one. But yeah, Instagram's I become the new, well, not even the new, it's, it is the most popular thing I've noticed. Do you have a favorite out of all the 
various social medias? Um, I like I like Twitter a lot because it's like not really you have to like pictures. Like you can just tweet what you're like feeling or whatever, and I like that because you I can communicate with fans a lot more too. Mm. And like answer like what their questions are, DM them and stuff. But I love Instagram. Like Instagram is one of my top favorites too. Yeah. I know what you mean. I, I, I prefer Twitter because you're allowed to be a mess, whereas there is no yeah. room for that on Instagram. You have to do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, before I let you go, uh, thanks to Rimmel London's Provocalypse 16 hour kiss proof lip color. I want to ask you about your first kiss, all right? Who, what, when, where? Give us the goss, my friend. Uh, my first kiss, I think I was 13 years old, and I. I think my sister was having a party at my house for her birthday because she's a couple years older. Mm-hmm. And I think it was a truth to dare. Oh, of course. They always get you with the truth and dare, don't they? It's always when you're younger, it's the truth to dare. I think that was my first kiss or either it was at school and I got dared to kiss somebody and I went up and kissed him. Either one, but... Wow, that's it mustn't have been that iconic if you can't actually remember which one the first one was. <laughs> no, it was so long ago, I don't really remember it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, look... Um, it's been awesome chatting with you today. Thanks so much for joining us here at Amplify. Thank you so much for having me.